hello students let's see how to start ms powerpoint so i am clicking on the start button and if powerpoint is already installed you will find it in the menu like i have it here in case you don't see powerpoint here in the start menu you use the search box and write powerpoint as you write powerpoint it will appear and when you click open it will open so when it opens there are so many templates so we will prefer the blank presentation when we click on the blank presentation we get this screen where this area here is the slide and this is the thumbnail view of, of it or you can say slide shorter view of it okay so there are one slide at present so i'll just add one title to it say power point it is an animation tool okay so here our first slide is ready you can see whatever i have written it can it is appearing here as well so this area here this one is the ribbon and these are the tabs these are the tabs as you have seen in ms word or uh, ms paint these are the tabs and this area here is known as the ribbon if i click on insert tab the tools which i see in the ribbon are uh, from the insert tab okay and if i click on home tab so these are the tools from the home tab now from the home tab itself i will click on another slide see there are so many layouts and once again i'll click on title and content it looks a bit different all right so i can write about the components of ms power point so number one is the title bar this one is the title bar okay this one is the title bar next is the ribbon this area here is the ribbon next is quick access toolbar this is the quick access toolbar where you can add or delete tools this is the quick access toolbar see i am showing you powerpoint and i am teaching powerpoint both at the same time now this is the file tab okay from the file tab we have this option called print and save save as new open as usual okay so this is the file tab and so on so here you can see that there are two slides in this presentation of mine first one says about the topic and second one is having some details so this way we use ms powerpoint to do some textual display now few more options are there slide this is the slide okay this is the slide then we have placeholder placeholder uh, as you are i am typing uh, the text right now it is inside a place so this is known as the placeholder and this one better name is slides oblique outline pane okay so from page number 57 it's all done you can call it a thumbnail also these as thumbnail also when i'm clicking on one slide one is displayed when i'm clicking on two slide two is displayed and the last one is status bar okay so this is the status bar which says slide two of two the language i'm using and so on okay so this is the powerpoint tool for this so what did i do 
I opened PowerPoint, clicked on blank presentation and used the placeholder like here I have written PowerPoint, here I have written a little detail and then I took a new slide and which slide I took? I took title and content slide. So you can see title and content. So these are the two placeholders, one to hold the title and one to hold the content. So here my title is components of MS PowerPoint and the content is another set of text which says the components, the name of the components of MS PowerPoint. So this way we can prepare a, a presentation added slide by clicking on the new slide as I have already done and the shortcut key see I am just adding one more slide say uh, title and content I am writing short cut keys so for new slide it is C T R L and M. So if you press C T R L and M, it will uh, include a new slide as well. So this is the way we can add a new slide. Now how to delete a slide? If I click on the slides, or you can say uh, outline pane, any one. I can see the numbers here so right now I have clicked on slide number 3 and if I press delete on my keyboard it will be deleted it will be deleted now to view a slide show to view a slide show I need to go to the I need to go to uh, slide show tab and click on from beginning so here is my presentation if I press enter the second slide will be displayed as there are only two slides in this presentation when I press enter it will end my slide and I can come back to where I was making it if I want a shortcut key to slide show then I will have to press F5 okay F5 see F5 F5 uh, from the function uh, key set if you press F5 it will start the slideshow from the beginning this way from the beginning all right so F5 is the shortcut key for slideshow now the last one is saving a presentation so for that I will click on the file tab and click on save it will open a dialog box for me where I will select a location I can click on browse and from here on the left hand side I can select a location I can select a location say um, classes and so it is inside D drive classes PowerPoint tutorial class 4 chapter 6 save so now my presentation is saved uh, it is saved you, if you check on the title bar you can see uh, you can see PowerPoint tutorial I have written a wrong spelling for tutorial so that is fine uh, class 4 chapter 6 okay and then if I want to exit PowerPoint I can click on file and close Okay, students, I would like to show you a simple animation. So for that, what I'll do, I will take blank slide. 
and I will click on insert and then shapes and from here I will take the Sun okay so I am drawing the Sun and I'll just make it a little bit thinner okay make it a little bit thinner and I will use just two colors okay so first of all I'll just use a line center and a line middle inside shape format tab when I am selecting a shape shape format tab appears okay so from the shape format tab I am clicking on the align drop down and align center then align middle okay next I will just click on this uh, slides view and press CTRL D CTRL D D for duplicate D for duplicate CTRL D now I have same slide I will have I'll have same slide now in seconds number slide what I'll do I'll just click on it and rotate it a little just this much and then I'll go back to shape format and go to shape fill and instead of this color I will use a little lighter color okay so slide one is dark slide two is light slide one is dark slide two is light now what I'll do I'll just go to slide show from here and click on setup show and click loop continuously until escape then click ok and one more thing I need to do I'll go to transition and here I have two options one says on mouse click which uh, I can see a tick mark there so that is selected these boxes are known as check boxes and if the tick mark is there that means it is checked or selected so I'll remove that selection and I will use this one after zero seconds and I'll click on apply to all and in the previous uh, presentation I told you that F5 is the shortcut key or quick key to start a presentation so I'll press F5 on my keyboard and you can see a animation a simple animation so this is the way we use PowerPoint along with texts as well as along with shapes objects to make animation thank you